Welcome to Garden House Studio Channel. Today we're going to walk you through the steps that we took to refinish this piano bench. Before I could repaint this piece with Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint, I had to get rid of the old paint finish and the wax. I started with the wax. I used a pure mineral spirits to soften up the wax, rubbed it on, let it sit for a little while, and then kept rubbing it off. As you can see in the picture, I did a scratch test and realized that the original paint had not stuck to the finish. So we were gonna remove all of the paint. To get rid of the residue, the wax residue that was still on the piece, I used denatured alcohol, which gets rid of any residue of, or any wax that's left, and it prepares my piece for sanding. Before I could do any painting, I had to sand the piece. I sanded it in sections, but I want you to get a chance to see just what great coverage the Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint has. This is Artissimo, and it does have bonding agent in it. Before I finish the whole bench, I'll remove whatever is on the legs that kept the paint from sticking. I'll sand it all back. The Artissimo only required one coat of paint and then it was ready for wax. Miss Mustard Seed Furniture Wax is the wax I use pretty much on any of the paints that I use that need a top coat of wax. It goes on great. There's a little, a lot on the brush here, but as you can see, we can just brush it out. It increases the um, depth of the color, so it makes the piece look really awesome. Once the wax has dried, we buff it with a soft cloth, which gives it a really nice hand rubbed luster. The last thing I had to do to finish this bench was finish the cushion, upholster it. Um, I used the cotton that was on it. It's pretty compacted, but I like to try to reuse whatever um, stuffing is inside the pieces that I upholster and then add some to it. So I added a foam, like a one inch foam, and then I stapled down the cotton.
we had originally thought we were going to put a transfer edge along the side of this bench, but the pillow ticking came out so nice that we decided to put to stamp it and make it look like a feed sack. As you can see, we used the blue and white ticking and a red um, ink for stamping. The stamping was a little difficult because we had already made the cushion, but pushing it down into the um, cotton and to the um, upholstered seat worked just fine. The two stamps that I used from Iron Orchid Designs were the Alpha 2 and the Queen Bee to make the ticking look more like a feed sack. It was one of the most beautiful days in Vermont, so we decided to take our finished pictures outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more from our channel. <laughs> My dog is a photo bomber. <laughs> My dog just does not sleep. Come on over here, Sadie. <laughs> Thanks for watching.